this. Okay. It's story time, Pika! It's what? It's story time, motherfucker! <laughs> it's been two fucking years, so you better have a good damn story. <laughs> this time. I have a story here for you. Mm. That is gonna make your dick so hard. You're gonna wish you had this person's nickname. This is the still real story of how Dean Ambrose became the Titty Master. Oh, yes. One of the questions we seem to get almost daily is how did Dean Ambrose get the nickname the Titty Master? We did some digging and ended up finding one of the most intriguing and fascinating stories to ever hit the wrestling world. Let's start from the beginning. In a very distant galaxy, there is a planet called Brest Brestulus. On December 7th, 1985, a miracle happened. A super alien was born under the name of Jonathan Good. On Brestulus, there is no oxygen, only breasts. The only means of self-preservation on this planet is to keep contact with the titty. Jonathan was a very diligent worker and needed more titties to maintain his physical lifestyle. After a while, Good collected every titty that Brestulus had to offer, leaving everyone else on the planet struggling to stay alive. The people of Brestulus took a vote and ousted Jonathan Good. They sent him to a place called the Independence. <laughs> <laughs> the Independence, also known as the Indies, is a collection of smaller planets. Jonathan Good had made such a name for himself as an outlaw on Planet Brestulus that he decided to change his name when he landed in the Indies. Now under the alias John Moxley, he was yeah. able to roam the Indies freely and began his titty-snatching ways again. <laughs> After a while, Moxley again, well, Moxley again became a big fish in a small pond. He collected almost all the titties that the Indies had to offer and would have continued until he found a new goal. Moxley found a Playboy magazine one night and was in awe of what he saw. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I know where it's going to go to. Big and voluptuous titties. <laughs> He did some research and found out that planet Earth had the best titties ever created. <laughs> he, col he collected enough titties in the Indies to gain enough strength to achieve the ability of flight. <laughs> Moxley knew he should practice flying before taking the long journey to Earth. He would fly from one circuit to the next. The people of the Indies were in awe of Moxley's newfound powers. They would look up as he was flying around and say, There goes the Titty Master, the greatest titty collector to ever live. <laughs> Eventually, Moxley made his voyage to Earth. Much like when he got to the Indies, he decided he should adopt another alias so he could fly under the radar. He knew he had to be more cautious and meticulous with this new planet. He didn't want the people of Earth to suspect him of going on a titty mastering binge and collecting all the titties they had to offer. So he donned the name Dean Ambrose. For the most part, he has kept his titty mastering ways under wrap. Every once in a while, he will still go on a bender and master a bunch of titties at once, but nothing like his time in the Independence and on Brestulus. One day, though... If all of the titties in the world disappear, don't bother looking for Ambrose. He will already be on another planet doing his thing, and we will all be left saying, There goes the Titty Master, the greatest titty collector to ever live. The end. And you heard it here first. Silver just lost his mind. <laughs> I done lost my titties. The titty master stole them. God damn it. <laughs> what do you think of the story of the titty master? It's probably the best story you ever told on this freaking series, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we didn't get some great reactions, but this story by far is what you call gold, people. <laughs> yes. 
Until next time. I am Silver. Peace. I am the Russian God Pika. <laughs> Have a nice day. Better tomorrow. And remember. I was there... selling blood. <laughs> that. And there is no greater country than the USA. Unless you're in Canada, then you're in a shithole. <laughs>